Meanwhile, Antar Su was drumming up support in his hometown, Pusan, making stops to, throughout the southeast of the country. The People's Party nominee paid tribute to late President No Mu Hyun, the boss of his main rival in the race, Moon Jae in. Song Ji Sun has the highlights of the software mogul's weekend campaigning. The northern port in Pusan was once the center of everything in this town, but it lost its prestige after a new port opened a decade ago. After 10 long years for the area and its residents, the port is getting a fresh lease of life with the launch of a new international passenger terminal. The People's Party presidential candidate An Ter Su, who spent his school years here, says he envisions the port becoming a cultural and tourist hotspot and hopefully an important logistics hub once again. It goes beyond economic growth and numbers. It's about society. Revitalizing the northern port will contribute to balancing growth within Busan. The old downtown can become a model of the fourth industrial revolution. It can also be a port of convergence by building education and cultural infrastructure for the future of western Busan. Continuing to stump in cities across Gyeongsangnam-do province, on promoting his pledges for the region. He's vying to make the area a front-runner in the fourth industrial revolution through the construction of a robotics industry belt around Masan and a mechanical industry cluster in Changwon. Highlighting his call for national unity, An chose Nose Grape as his last stop in Gyeongsangnam-do province. The last time he visited, he faced protests from Democratic Party supporters after splitting from his now competitor Moon Jae-in, who served as NOS chief of staff. We must draw a line under the era of division, conflict and anger. Visiting the grave, I have committed myself to saving the Republic of Korea, joining arms with everyone. An is also vying to lead a new trend in campaigning. He says he will stop directly criticizing his main rival Moon Jae-in as the two liberal candidates have been trading barbs day after day. But with more than two weeks to go until Election Day, it remains to be seen whether he'll be able to stick to the particular pledge. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.